Hi y'all, it's Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings and I am here doing um, the next little, um, let me see if I can find my little thing here, my next episode of my Defend Remember and um, let's see, I've kind of didn't mark off my thing from my little houses so we're going to block that off because we've done the houses and today I'm going to go ahead and mark it off because we're going to do our magical creature. And that's what we're going to work on today. So, put my little card right over there. Put my pen back so I won't be able to find it later either. Get all of that mess moved back. And I have my stuff out here for our magical creature. So, I didn't know what I was going to use, so wasn't real sure, but uh, I was kind of trying to put everything, trying to get everything organized. I'm trying to get into a better, better format here, so my videos are not quite so long, so there you go. That's what we're going to do. Pull my sleeves up, because they get in the way. And my little magical creature that I'm going to use today is a dragon. And I got this little cutout dragon. It was cut out from, I think, a Christmas card of some kind. But anyway, I got it in a um, swap. I'm trying to think. Got it, got it in a swap at some point. And I thought, okay, I'm going to use my dragon. But. I'm also going to figure out how to use this little gal in here, and I may just put her up here. But I just thought she was so cool. This was Barbara at 49 Dragonfly Wing, uh, at 49 Dragonflies. Good Lord, maybe I need to go back to bed and start over. I would, but it's almost time to go back to bed, so I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I just loved her, and I thought she was so cute, and she had a small one. And so I'm going to put her on here somewhere, just because I... Just she doesn't fit the mat the anyway it doesn't fit but I like it and I'm gonna use it so there we go all right this is a piece of paper that um, I got from Louisa Heinzel's um, freebies for Defemer Ember and so I used this and I thought wow that's really kind of pretty so um, I may use use this side. And I'm going to put my little, my little paper in here just because I like the, the grays and the greens and the blues and the beautiful stuff on this paper. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start off and I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to glue this little page to this. And that is correct. That is correct for the moment. Now I'm going to have a hard time today because I had to go get my eyes checked. You know, I've been putting my glasses on, taking my glasses off, putting my glasses on, taking my glasses off. And uh, so, but I'm not seeing very clearly even with my glasses. And I only had my eyes checked six months ago, so I was very worried, very concerned. And so, but I decided to go to the doctor today and get my eyes checked again. And uh, he said they had both gotten worse in the six months, but that it was due to the fact that I have cataracts in both eyes. And, um, but both of them, neither of them, I should say, are ready to be taken out yet. So he just changed my prescription on my glasses and, um, and got that done for me. So... But, because I had just bought the frames, and I really liked the frames, and uh, so I took them, and so to put the new lenses in, the new prescription in, I had to leave my glasses with them. So, they said it'd be about seven days, about a week, and so for a week, I'm going to be without glasses. And so it's going to be kind of hard. So if I lean in or hold things up to my face a little more, that's why. It's because I can't see. So, but that's okay. We're going to get through. We're going to do. And he said, he said my cataracts were a little bit bigger, but not 
certainly not big enough to be ready for surgery yet, which was awesome news to me because after my surgery and both of my surgeries, all three of my surgeries and my husband's surgery and all that, it seems like that's all we've done is go to the doctor and have surgery or physical therapy. Finished physical therapy yesterday though, so he released me, said I was doing great. And so that worked out really nicely. So I'm kind of celebrating today. We went yesterday and went out for lunch after my physical therapy appointment. So uh, that kind of kind of was nice. So alrighty, I'm going to cut this off down here so that it matches my paper. There we go. And I am going to use this side first. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and ink. I did find another ink dobby thing, my bob. And so I'm going to go ahead and ink this up all the way around so I don't have to worry about anything that I put on here hanging off. And uh, get that done. Oh, I need to get my other doodabby and punch my holes before I forget that or otherwise this page will have to just work as a slide again so but anyway we're gonna get her done and see how this goes and I am hoping that I can get this little Defemerember book finished I did a, a video um, asking for some help on trying to redo my my uh, journal that I had but nobody's given me any pointers yet so if you have any ideas please let me know I'm trying to figure out something to do to to make all of my pages fit in my book and so I'm going to keep I'm going to wait until I get through with all of the um, the pages and then I'm gonna have to go for it so if you have a good idea about something I can do to redo that go back and watch that video it was a couple of weeks ago and um, offer some suggestions if you have any on something I can do and we'll see how that works all right now we have holes Put my little paper right back up there. Put these little nubbins in the trash. And I'm going to go ahead and put our whole thingies on here. This is a trick since I can barely see the little hole. But we're going to get it done. Put these on here. And... That way I won't have to worry about working them around um, the stuff when I get it on here. Can't tell. Yep. I think it's covering the hole, even though it's hard to see. I think the hole is covered. We'll get this put on here. And so, so for right now, Everyone is healthy and progressing right along. So we're hoping that our grandsons, two of our grandsons, get to come and see us at spring break, at their spring break. So that's our next thing. My husband does some marching band judging and things like that here in Texas. So he'll be going and doing, actually it's not marching band this time, it's during the during the spring, it's a concert and sight reading contest, so he'll be going and doing that, and we'll get that done, and well, that looks like my little circles are going to work out just perfect. I needed six, and I'm going to have six, so there we go, and these little reinforcements that I use are just uh, I just got some plain old white reinforcements from um, probably Walmart at the time I bought them, but you can probably get them 
at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General as well. And then I just sprayed them. I made, I got some of my ink refills and filled it and just sprayed them. And so now they match my inks. So that was, that was cool. All right. Now, where are we here? This is a little piece of grass I kind of wanted to put down here on the bottom. Just for, just for it to kind of look cool. So let's get some of this Fabri-Tac and... Let me had a little piece of hard glue that came out there. I don't need that. And this stuff is kind of hard because it's not very thick. I hope you can see. I'm just kind of going through here and hitting and missing some of the, the little spots. There are a few spots on here that are a little bigger than others. And I try to hit those with the glue and cover that up. And then we're just going to put this right down here at the bottom. Make sure that one covers up that little, or doesn't cover up my little hole. And there we go. Okay. Now, I had a flower here. And I thought that I might could put this flower on here just to make it look cool. Just to kind of give it a little color, a little bit more. So this is just a uh, a sticker. Uh, I guess it's a sticker. It's like a this little the paper is kind of like vellum and it's on a piece of acetate like this. And I got them who knows where. I don't know. And I'm gonna put a little glue on it just to make sure that it sticks. Not real sure. Sometimes I have found with some of these things that I've had for a while. Um that after a while they're not quite as sticky and I don't want them coming off in my journal so put a little bit of glue on there we'll stick that right there because that looks like it will fit right there so it makes it kind of look like it's coming up out of that grass not very straight but I guess we could pretend it's in West Texas and the wind is blowing since we have wind here. But there we go. That's a nice little flower addition. Now then, this is my dragon. And I've had this for so long. And I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. But I thought, oh, that is so cool. So that's going to be my magical creature. So um, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't remember who sent it to me. But we have a little dragon here. And the, the only problem is, is the wings are the same. So I guess I could kind of do them like that. That might work. Kind of do them like that, and it would show. Let's see where this is going to have to fit on here. Hmm. That looks like there are some little parts here that poke out. So, why not? Let's poke. Yeah, and that way it'll, the paper will show through. Kind of hard to see without my glasses, but I can't tell. That doesn't look like. Um, that looks like it might poke out, but it doesn't very easily, so I'm going to leave it. All right, so we're going to put our little dragon right here, I think. Maybe we need to put him up here, but then, I don't know. Maybe we may need to have him flying. That might work better. And let's get our, our wings here and put them kind of like that. And that would work. There we go. We could put, put our little lady right up here. Nope. That's going to cover up too much of my little lady. So let's see. If I put her right up there, maybe I could put her on this side. And then we could do our little dragon like that with his little wings like that. That looks better. And put him down here. 
and that will work. Here we go. All right, what y'all think about that? I think that'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is put her down first. I don't need to use that. I can use my art glitter glue. But I just thought she was so cool. Get glue everywhere. And so I hope, Barbara, you don't mind me using her on my page. But I just thought, you know. And I changed my title. Instead of just being Magical Creature, I put Magical Creatures. Since I'm having two of them on here. Because I didn't want anybody to feel like they were being left out. All right, there you go. Isn't she pretty? Look at her. Isn't she just so pretty? And I thought, oh, wow. Well. Okay, so go check out Barbara and her, the Femur Ember site, and see what you can find. And I think that I probably, I don't think it matters, but I think I want the darker one of these on top. So, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and put these on here. And, of course, I always put it way too much. So, but that's okay because he's going to stick to the dragon anyway. But not there. So, we're going to have to wipe that off. Wipe that off just a little bit. And then, okay, I don't think that's going to, and I want his wing to kind of, kind of fold in here in front so we can see that it's a wing. So, we'll do that. We'll put a little bit of glue right under here. So I know where it's going. Get your tail out of the way. Now then, I think that looks pretty good. And his wing is going to come over here. I like that. Okay. Now, I didn't ink around him, but that's okay. I do need a little bit more glue up here to... Let's glue this side to get... There we go. Now, I don't have my glasses, so, but I'm hoping that looks pretty good. I think it looks fine. He looks pretty. Okay, there's another little, a little nubbin that I didn't poke out. We want to poke those out so that we're getting two layers there. I think I got all of those. Alrighty, so now let's put him down. If my journal wasn't already so full, I probably would stick him on here with um, some dimensional dot things to put on the back of him so he would kind of rise up a little bit. But I'm already, my, my book is already so full that. I, uh, I don't need any more bulk, so I'm going to put this right, just right like that. Now, I don't know what I had intended to do with this. I think I just put it in here because I thought it would be kind of pretty. Because um, this is kind of like the grass, and this up here could kind of be like the sky. Except that I put my little lady up there too much, and if I put this on there it's going to cover up her little horns and that's kind of what I like so what I think I will do is maybe put it down this way and not have it be the sky at all and it can kind of hang out on our page a little bit well, I don't know that makes it look like everything's on this side. Okay, what if we just put it a little piece up here? 
just put a little piece up there. And that could work. Okay, that'll work. So I want to cover put some of our fabric tack since we're dealing with fabric here. We'll put that right on there. Hmm. I think that's a little too oh wait 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 okay wait 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 oh okay now then we're gonna take this off before it glues too much and we're gonna glue it all the way across There we go, there we go. Just have to work at it long enough. Add some more glue. I'm going to put it right up there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. And then we will glue her little horns back down here. And have them reach up into the sky and that will work perfectly okay so there we go put that on there pretty good now that's going to work just perfect perfect great i like that okay then we can turn this over and cut this off just a little bit there we go so now we are able to have a sky and a ground. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Put that in my nubbin bucket. And I've already made my little tags. So it says magical. Let's see. Gonna have, that's going to cover up my flower. Well, now, well, I'll do it right like that. That'll be fine. Okay. So we'll put this little tag on here for Magical Creature. Put it just like that. And see, I put creatures because I have her and I have the little dragon too. So let's get some glue off of our hands. I tell you, that glue, it causes everything to stick to your finger, even causes your fingers to stick together. So there we go. We have that. And this one was to be done on December the 13th of 23. And so I probably should go back and, and put on here the days that I actually did it, but I wanted my journal to be as accurate with the Femorimber as it could be. Okay, there we go. Magical creatures, and I think that turned out just beautifully. So, I might have wished I had done inking here. It would at least show the difference. I wonder if I can do that now between let's see if I have a little piece of paper here that I could at least define the wing here make it a little darker that's not really going to work it's not going to define it as much as I had hoped that it would but a little bit. Get our tail flattened. May have to glue that down so it'll stay. I don't want it getting ripped off. Let's see if we can put a little bit up here around his little head so we can see. That does delineate a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, just enough to 
let us know that there's a cute little dragon there. So, all right. Well, there we go. That's our magical creatures. And we have another page done. And then the next one is going to be mushroom robots. So we'll get that done. And then we'll be on the downhill slide. I will have three-fourths done after that and ready to get our little book finished and redo my book and do another video so you can see how it turns out and I'm really excited about it so anyway so there we go I hope you enjoy uh, please take a look at Defend Remember I'm hoping that uh, Louisa and Barbara will be doing it again in 2024 so we'll hopefully this time I will be surgery free and everything and be able to participate a little better uh, which is my goal and so if you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I would love to have you as part of our family um, share the video with everybody you know we need lots of people to come and join us and uh, if you have a few minutes take a minute to shop, stop into my Shopify store it's at www.pinkdragonflywings, all one word, Z on the end, dot com. And uh, see what we have in there. We have all kinds of little things in there. You just might find something you need, and that would be awesome. So, in the meantime, I will be back with uh, another video. And um, in the meantime, until we meet again, be creative. Bye-bye.